Good morning, everyone. I wonder if you're all as nervous as I am right now. Thumbs up. Um, I, I know that you've put a lot of work into this. I know you've tried many things. I know you're excited about this institute and its potential. Um, that aside, I wanna be clear that an institute, no matter how amazing, can't do what Mills College can do. An institute can live alongside a degree granting institution, um, but it could have never given us Barbara Lee, the lone person in Congress who stood up against her peers and voted against a racist war. It couldn't have done that, it, it won't do that. Um, and it's not hyperbolic to say that we have an entire generation of Barbara Lees right now sitting in our classroom. They already do that work. And who are we to put a stop to that? These are the people that academia was built to keep out. And yet they're more brilliant and more politically engaged than any student I ever taught in my time at Berkeley. And these are the students who we've committed ourselves to as an institution and a community. This faculty has committed their careers and their lives to these students and to this place that sees these students in their full humanity with all their potential. And for many of us, it's because they are us. We, this faculty and staff who are more and more made up of first generation people of color, we've experienced violence, the violence of higher education as students and professors. And we recognize that Mills is a place unlike any other that my colleagues have described as healing that my colleagues who are recently arrived here have said, it's worth it to me that I've been able to have just a couple years at Mills because I could never go back to that other place. We recognize Mills as that. And because of that, we understand this on a profoundly personal level that we cannot give up. That many of us quite literally have nowhere else to go where we can live and learn in a place where we can experience our full humanity. And as an institution, as a board, you have said you believe in the potential of Mills and higher education for its emancipatory potential. And we've actually been recognized nationally for proving that that's true. And as a board, we've said we believe in dismantling white supremacy and working toward anti-racism. We put a sign in front of our gates that says Black Lives Matter. And by admitting and educating the student body that we currently serve, and hiring and sustaining the faculty who we currently employ and fighting to keep mills open. We prove that those statements and those signs are more than just a PR stunt. This is my personal assistant. It's not just performative allyship at mills and that's unique. I need you to understand as a board, that's not normal in higher education. It's not, this doesn't exist in other places and we cannot give up on it because of that. So I'm asking you to understand that we have a collective political and moral imperative to fight for this college and to fight for these students who no one else ever fights for. I'm a veteran of Oakland Public School, so schools closing is not new to me. It's so commonplace that this doesn't even phase me. It's like the oxygen I breathe. I'm so used to people in positions of power saying, we've tried everything we can, there's nothing left to do. And no one fights for us. No one fights for the faculty, no one fights for the students and schools continue to close and they're exactly the schools that we need to have open. So I'm asking you to walk the talk, to leverage your power, to demonstrate true allyship, to not just put signs in our front yard and to fight until you have no fight left in you. And at that point, step aside because we've already seen that we have tens of thousands of people who are willing to take up this fight. who are willing to recruit students, who are willing to fundraise, Natalie, I'm going to have to stop you. Thank you very much for your remarks. That was the end. Thank you. Okay.